So we got to do respect here. This is uh, this is take two. I just recorded a whole video and it got lost. But anyway, I want to say it right anyway because the the issue with uh, her name is Jen Moore, and Jen Moore is a reporter who's dead. And why is she dead? Because she she had a because she because it's because she had a foot in the Clinton fucking swamp, right? So Jen Moore, if you don't know who she is, and you're not a, you're not a, you're not familiar with George Webb. George Webb is a investigative reporter who you know is down in D.C. and he. Um, he, he teamed up with this girl named Task Force. But her name is, now we know her real name. She used to be in the videos in shadow. Like she'd be, you'd hear her voice, but you never saw her face. And they never used her real name. So Jen Moore was, uh, our focus was on the, the, you know, the Pizzagate kind of thing. The, the, you know, Hollywood pedophiles. Which is something that I don't really uh, cover. But anyway, Thomas Paine, Thomas Paine reporting. Investigative journalist found dead in D.C. Hollywood, a, a D.C. hotel, weeks after reporting Bill Clinton and FBI, Bill Clinton to the FBI D and DHS for alleged raping a boy. Uh, the article's down below. Thomas Paine reporting. Thomas Paine is one of the most, uh, you know, credible people we have right now and Thomas Paine says the evidence surrounding that allegation made by Jen Moore accusing an ex-president of the United States as being you know raping a child is credible now we're you know Bill Clinton is innocent until proven guilty but what a coincidence that the reporter and the very scared victim the reporter's dead and the scared victim went silent, right? Investigative journalist found, uh, investigative journalist Jen Moore was found dead in suburban Washington, D.C. hotel room Monday, according to police, and shocked friends and colleagues. Moore died in apparent, of an apparent seizure. Police are closely investigating the cause of death because death after former FBI agent Robin Gritz, a friend of Moore, made inquiries with Homicide Detectives Monday in Maryland. Preliminary reports from police said the death was not the result of suicide. Moore's body was found by employees of the uh, hotel. Investigation is ongoing. An autopsy has not been scheduled as of late Monday. Stop right there. No autopsy? A reporter reveals insanely damaging, credible evidence that the ex-president of the United States, Bill Clinton, is involved in a child rape ring. And then the reporter dies four days later after reporting it to the FBI and the DHS. And there's no autopsy. The body is found and there's no signs of... Uh, Struggle, murder, suicide, none of those things. So what kind of suicide was it? What kind of what kind of death does a 30-year-old person just goes cold one fucking day, right? Just goes cold, right? 30-year-old person goes in a hotel room and lays down and dies, and that doesn't disturb you? After after what we know what she was unfold uncovering? This shit is crazy, man. This is this is insanity right here. Why isn't the Republican jerk-offs all over this? Fuck them. I mean, this is, this is crazy. Moore, an advocate who investigated abuse and trafficking of children, had been in the process of investigating allegations by a 26-year-old man that, as a young boy, he was sexually assaulted by Bill Clinton and pimped out at private sex parties attended by DC elite. In fact, four weeks before her death, Moore filed details of alleged 
victims' claims with the Department of Homeland Security detailing allegations against Clinton. Moore contacted Homeland Security beginning on July 6th and July 9th, records show. A week later, she contacted FBI. FBI sources reported report no case has been opened on the evidence supplied by Moore. Homeland Security officials could not be reached for comment. Moore had, had approached Thomas Paine of True Pundit in June with the allegations. Right? Read the article. So, so that's where we live right now, right? You talk about the you talk about the Clintons, you talk about Hillary, you have real evidence, and they, they and you end up cold in a hotel room, dead, and nobody knows how you died. You got to get that autopsy. That's the whole shit right now. All right, drop everything, get that autopsy. Right, George, Thomas, we need that autopsy. People on the ground in D.C., you got to get that autopsy. You got to find out what how this girl died. Toxicology. Toxicology, what are they going to find? Fentanyl? Oh, fentanyl? Toxicology. You got to find out what killed her. You have to find out what killed her. Seizure? Check the body. Poison dart? Darts? What did she eat? Where did she eat? Backtrack. Find out where she was. The medications are slick today. They're very... You know, very fucking slick. A dart, a poison dart, you know, a little a little vapor. Motherfuckers. This is a disturbing story, you know. I, I just wanted to do it good. Her name was Jen Moore. We know her as Task Force. She's dead. All right? She was instrumental. She was part of George Webb's show for a while. In my view, it was George Webb's girlfriend who joined him in the effort, you know, as a reporter. So, it's a very sad day. I want to see the autopsy. I, I want to see the autopsy. We need to see that. We need to see why this girl died, right? I want to see the, the toxicology. I want, to see, I want doctors to come forward, medical people, and analyze this, this autopsy. 